Hey, what's up? I'm Allie, and welcome back to my channel. So today I have my November book haul for you guys. I have some physical ebooks, audiobooks. I got a mixture. But first, before we get into this though, I do want to thank Book of the Month for sponsoring this video. I have been a big fan of Book of the Month for some time now. It is just such a great book service. I think it's a great way to find new books to read. They always pick new and upcoming and early release titles, so you might be able to read things before they even out, which is exciting to me, though I never do it. Anyway, I think that the price is so great. It is normally $14.99. You cannot buy a hardback book for less than that like anywhere unless it's used but these are brand new they are a standard size so they look fantastic across shelves I just love it there's usually a selection of about five books and there's a varying degree of genres in which that they choose from and they tend to pick new and upcoming authors and they do try to highlight more diverse stories as well however right now you can get your first book for five dollars yeah five dollars five dollars for a hardback book can you believe it and there's some really good selections this month but you can get your first one for five dollars with the code bookwish and i will leave a link down below so that you can check them out i think that this is just such a good way to find new books to love and to expand your library and to maybe try new things also if for some reason you're not reading that month or you know you're just not interested in the selections you can skip and they won't charge you or you can be like me and just hoard all your credits <laughs> I'm a hoarder. Anyway, let's get into the December selections for Book of the Month. I already did do a little sneak peek because I was so excited. Plus, this one came with a tote, which was quite fun. And it has a little book pocket. This is gonna be great for the library. So one of the first books is This Close to OK. This follows a recently divorced therapist and she is on her way home from kind of a grueling day at work one day when she sees a, a young gentleman standing on the edge of a bridge so she stops and asks him to go with her for coffee in which they spend a whole weekend together and you find out that you know what what led him to this bridge and what kind of secrets does he have but we also get to find out her secrets as well this just sounds like such a very impactful read I'm also loving these colors and I one of the things that I like really like about it Book of the month is that they do do a little embossing on it and it will tell you the month that you got it which is great if you're like me and books sit on your shelves for years it's really funny because i i have multiples of these so these are all books that i probably would have picked anyway because i also bought the audiobook of this next one and that is the office of historical corrections something about this cover really draws me in. I was really excited to find out that this is a collection of stories as well. You guys know I am a sucker for short stories. There is a novella and some stories in here and I think one of the stories deals with um, going into a prison and touring a prison. One I think deals with the confederate flag and how some woman is reckoning with herself after this picture of the, her in a confederate flag bikini goes viral and um, I think one has to deal with a scholar in DC. So I just think that this you know it sounds very relevant and very impactful to the to today and I'm always looking for new short story collections so I'm very excited to have two of these. <laughs> so as you can see, that probably would have been one that I would have picked. I'm also very, 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 very excited about this one. Um, and that is The Wife Upstairs by Rachel Hawkins. Yes, Rachel Hawkins. I do believe that this is her first adult novel. And this is a retelling of Jane Eyre. So this is about Jane who is kind of this broke dog walker who is slyly stealing things from her rich clients. And about how Eddie who has been recently widowed when his wife died in a boating accident. She sees a lot of opportunity in him, and so, you know, she's like, I'm gonna try to win his heart. But she is kind of haunted by his ex-wife's legacy because she was a rag-to-riches story and all the things that she had done. And as she falls deeper for him, you know, 
something's happened. And apparently, uh, you know, she's got some secrets of her own and she needs to lock him down before these secrets come out. So I think that this sounds so good. This next one I'm really intrigued by because it follows an influencer and, and this is people like her. So this, what is her name? Emma, Emmy. So Emmy is an influencer. She's kind of known uh, online as being like a down to earth mother and really telling the truth. Her husband, however, knows that she's quite good at, uh, you know, profiting off of intimate details of her family's life. And then there's some people who kind of see her as having it all and not really deserving it. So her marriage starts to crumble and her moral compass veers wildly off course. People like her explorers are desperate need to be seen and the lengths will go to be liked by strangers. I think that this sounds so good, especially because influencer culture, I think, has definitely grown, I feel like, over this past year and we are seeing more people asking for accountability from influencers. So I think that this is also just so extremely relevant and also possibly scary as someone who is possibly considered an influencer. So. This last one is my personal pick, and that is In a Holidays by Christina Lauren. I have been loving rom com -y type romances lately, and I say that this is my pick because I also checked it out of the library. <laughs> Literally the same day that this box came. <laughs> I came home and I was like, oh! <laughs> I so was not expecting this, and I was so excited to see it. In the box, I have already read this, and it is so cute. It is so heartwarming, and it is Groundhog Day meets kind of rom-com. Rom I don't know, I've never seen Groundhog Day, to be honest. This is about a woman who is kind of, you know, she's not very happy with her position in life, really. And her and her family meet with another group of families in this cabin every Christmas, and she has been in love with one of the brothers there for years. However, she accidentally kisses the other brother and fate gives her a chance to redo her mistakes. So she somehow ends up going back in time and reliving the events so that she can get it right and hopefully fall for the right guy. So it's so cute. I really enjoyed it. It's great for the season. It's just very heartwarming, very, you know, lightheartedness. And it was just really adorable. So as you can see, that probably would have been my pick. <laughs> you can get those books right now and you can get your first one for five dollars right now with Book Wish. So make sure that you check out that link down below. Now let's get in to the rest of the books that I got. Since I've technically already started on the library books, <laughs> let's go ahead and just further get into those. I really haven't checked out a lot from the library recently because uh, November happened and I wrote a book instead of reading them. <laughs> But I did manage to pick up a few that I've been interested in. One of which was We Wish You Luck. And uh, I did get this for a video idea coming up. But this takes place at a, I believe, a private school. Apparently this is about a group of students who end up taking revenge on one of the professors or teachers um, after something happens to one of their own. Mm -hmm. Can you see where I'm going with that? So uh, the order of the pure moon reflected in water and I do believe that this is about a girl who ends up kind of getting into a group of thieves and some other things happen. It is relatively short. I am quite surprised but I think it has magic and fighting and stuff in it so I'm really eager about that and it seems like you know something I could easily get through. And then some Heavier topics I did check out down along with that Devil's Bones. I did mention this in a previous haul. I do have the audiobook, but sometimes nonfiction, I do like to have the physical as well to read along with. Sometimes it's just easier. But this is kind of about the history of monuments and what it means, you know, what do the monuments stand for and the legacy of white supremacy and how those things tie together and how I'm, I'm hoping how to move forward and what we can do and just provide more insight on that because I do think that this is going to be a very relevant topic for years to come. And then the last one is Black and Blue and this is about the divide between Black America and police and I just am looking, you know, 
To gain some more insight on these topics, I think that this tries to talk about this in a non-biased manner and kind of provide outlooks on both sides. So I'm interested to see what this book has to say. And then uh, an audiobook that I ended up getting through Libro FM, if you guys don't know, that's kind of an alternative to Audible. It is the same price. However, whenever you buy the audiobooks, it's actually through like a local bookstore, an independent bookstore that you can choose. So I'll leave a link to that down below as well. But I ended up getting The Dead Are Arising and this is just kind of the life of Malcolm X. So again, just trying to educate myself further and learn more about history, things that, you know, I feel like haven't been told to me. So I'm trying to fill in the gaps. That's what, that's what we gotta do. For physical books, my mom ended up buying me Piranesi, and this is a kind of mythology, I believe, type story, and it takes place in a labyrinth, and the man there thinks that there's just him and one other man there, and then one day in the labyrinth he realizes that there might be someone else in the labyrinth with him, and there might be an outside world. So I think that's the general gist. I have heard really good things. I know that this author is quite popular so I'm quite excited. I'm hoping to read this before the end of the year. It is relatively short looking. It's also gorgeous honestly so look at underneath up here too. Oh it's got like the columns. Oh it's so pretty. It's so pretty. So I'm always down for new kind of mythology type books. A Cuban Girl's Guide to Tea and Tomorrow from Unplugged. And this is about a girl who, you know, thinks she has her whole life sorted out and then something happens and kind of throws her whole plan off scale. So she's, you know, she's depressed about it. So her family decides to send her away to England to visit her other family and that, you know, hopefully we'll get her out of this funk. And there is one boy in particular, one boy who works in a tea shop and he decides that he is going to try to show her around and just, you know, lighten her mood and one thing leads to the next, I'm sure. It looks so cute. I've been seeing pretty good things about it, so. And then the last thing is this absolutely stunning, gorgeous, oh, fairy loot edition of Kingdom of the Wicked with these beautiful stenciled pages. It follows one girl and her family is, they are witches, however they, they can't, you know, they can't do magic around the normal people because they will be hunted down and all her life she has been warned that there are these princes of hell and these demons and they're gonna come and she kind of like pushes it to the side because she's never seen any evidence of it until her twin sister is murdered. She says that she's going to get revenge, so she ends up summoning what she believes is a lesser demon. However, it ends up being no other than Wrath, a prince of hell. So they have to team up together in order to figure out who has killed her sister, who is hunting down witches, and uh, you know what that means for her in the long run. This was just so much fun. I have already read it. It got me out of a reading slump. And then I do think I bought some ebooks. Ended up buying Radiance. I've been seeing a lot of people kind of raving about this. And I do believe that this is about an arranged marriage. And I think, I'm not too sure what he is. Like he's the prince of something and I don't think he's quite human. And then she's a noble woman and she's kind of always known she was going to end up in this like alliance. However, you know, they're brought together by feeling like they're trapped in this arrangement and that they might just be destined for each other. I've been seeing really good things about it. And the other one I ended up getting was Rhapsodic. And this is, I believe, a more, you know, romance story uh, between a siren and a fae. I think that he's like the bargainer and she, you know, has some debts that she's been collecting and I think he comes to repay or he comes for payment or something and, you know, something is brewing between the two of them. Those are just some of the things, quite a mixture here, if I do say so myself. We got some like serious topics, we got some, you know, some contemporary, we got some romance, we got some fantasy. So, as you can tell, I don't even know what I like in books. <laughs> Those are the books that I ended up getting in November. Don't forget to check out the December selection of Book of the Month. There is a link down below. And to get your first book for $5. You can't beat it. You can't beat it. Don't bark at me like that. I think it's if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to see future videos from me. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.